hey guys welcome to protocol dash point okay so in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to use a ternary operator in dart and flutter okay so this tutorial is for a beginner purpose who want to learn dart programming language for flutter app development okay so for this we are going to make use of an online tool that is dartpad.dev so you can just visit this website and run your dart code over here so let's begin to learn how to make use of ternary operator to perform if else condition statement okay so let's begin okay so here i have main dot main class so in this class i'm going to perform ternary operator so before uh, starting with ternary operator let's understand the basic about if else statement okay so here i will just uh, declare a variable called as num and initialize it to 10 okay and let's check if the number is greater than 10 or less than 10 or is if, if it is equal to 10 okay so i'm going to make use of if else statement okay if and this is else statement so if the number is less than 10 then this statement will get executed expression will get executed and if it is greater than 10 then it then this will get executed okay so now i will just print if it is greater or less okay okay so the number is less than 10 okay and the same thing in else statement the number is greater than 10 greater or equal to 10 okay so let's run this and check the console what we get the result okay so you can see the number 10 is greater than 10 so it is the wrong statement because i need to change it or equal to okay so here you can see the result so it is saying number 10 is greater than or equal to 10 okay so let's decrement the number by 9 let's make it 8 so now let's check this statement will work okay so number a is 8 is less than 10 okay so here i'll just add one more condition that is if else so if it is less than 10 then this will work and if it is equal to if number is equal to 10 then this if else if statement will work is equal equal to 10 okay else this statement will work so let's check it now okay so you can see 8 is less than 10 so let's make it 10 and run the code so now you can see it is equal to 10 let's make it greater than 10 now this statement will work so you can see the number 12 is greater than 10 okay so as you saw just to check the condition i need to write almost seven to eight lines of code by making use of if else conditions okay so we'll just perform the same operation by making use of ternary operator in dart okay so here is the syntax to perform ternary operator okay so the syntax will be something like it expects three parameter uh, three expressions so the first expression will be the condition followed by question mark tag and this is the second expression if true followed by colon if false okay so let me explain you what is this ternary operator okay so here i am going to check the condition so this is the condition i want to check okay so if this condition is true then run this if it is false then run this it is as that simple okay so let's do it now okay so the first condition is number is less than 10 so if it is less than 10 question mark print less than 10 else print greater than or equal to 10 okay so now let's run the code so uh, let me comment this part okay so it's running 
so you can see it is greater than or equal to 10 okay so you can see over here it is 12 so it is greater than 10 let's make it 9 and check now this statement will work i so you can see this statement got executed so it is less than 10 so here you can just add nested a ternary operator okay so let's do this if else now let's add this condition okay so if number is less than 10 then just print this it is less than 10 else we will add one more condition over here okay so inside this condition let's check if the number is equal to 10 so if it is equal to 10 then let's print it is equal to 10 else print greater than 10 so let me take this code to the next line okay now let's execute this code so i will just comment the previous part so the number is 9 so it is less than 10 so if i run it so you can see over here so let me make it 10 now now this will work let me make it 15 now this time this will work so it is not less than 10 it is not equal to 10 so it will just directly come to this statement so you can see it is greater than 10 okay so now let's go to our android studio and perform this same uh, ternary operator in place of printing we are going to load our widget depending on our condition okay so let's go to our android studio so this is my old code so i'll just remove all the code and make it fresh so here is my flutter project in my android studio ide and here i'm making use of a old project that i have created in my previous tutorials okay so you can just go to my previous tutorials if you want to learn more about flutter okay so inside home tag i have scaffold widget so it simply returns container for now okay so let's customize it and add some widgets and uh, variables over here okay so i'll just remove this container and add a scaffold widget okay so inside scaffold widget let me add a app bar okay so now inside body tag i want to show a image at the center of my screen uh, so here i am going to perform a ternary operator so if the image is loaded then i want to show the image else i want to show a circular progress indicator so i am going to perform this operation by making use of ternary operator and i am going to do it uh, statically because uh, i want to this is just an example so i am going to make a use of a variable so boolean is loaded and i will just set it to true so if it is loaded then i want to show a image and if it is false then i want to show a circular progress bar okay so here uh, i want to show at the center of my screen so i will just make use of a center widget so here comes the trick to use ternary operator so if is loaded is true then i want to show a image by making internet calls else i want to show a simple progress circular progress bar so here this is true the, it has been initialized to true so if it is true then image will be shown if it is false then circular progress bar will be shown okay so let me get a url from the internet okay so i can just take this image and load it into my app okay so i will just run the project on my device which has been connected to usb okay so the app got executed so you can see the image has been shown now so now let me change the variable to false and check so now you can see there is a progress bar being shown if the variable is set to true so if it is true then i'm going to show 
progress bar and if it is so sorry so if it is true then image will be shown and if it is false then uh, circular progress bar will be shown so like this you can just perform a uh, ternary operator in your app development in real time uh, depending on the conditions you can just show uh, different widgets at different point of time uh, at, as per the uh, user behavior okay so that's all for this video tutorial so this was just an example on how to use ternary operator in flutter app development so thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you